Hello guys and girls, welcome everyone. Today we're gonna walk through making a hip hop beat using FL Studio. So let's get to work. For starters, I have the sample I just picked up from the internet. If you want any melodies or samples, sounds, you just hit me up, I got you covered. So first of all, we're gonna start by setting up the BPM. BPM is the most important thing, it's the timing for music, all right? In this case, I have 140 BPM, it's gonna be good for trap. This is the melody that I got. Next step, we're just gonna lay out some drums. It's 808 that I like because it's short. I'm gonna put it in the channel rack. This is called the channel rack. Right here called the channel rack. You can have it like that or even do it in dots so you can like fill them up, right? But I like to work with the piano roll. This is the piano roll. If you wanna open the piano roll, you just go up here and click on this. This is the piano roll or just hit F7, all right? So next thing, I'm gonna choose a clap. If your clap sounds good, you're good. So for me, I'm gonna choose this one and you can send it to the channel like just by clicking here and right click and go open in a new channel, all right? If you wanna replace it, just click control and left click. So next thing, we're gonna go for hi hats. All right, send to new channel. Next, we're gonna choose a kick. And I like this one. Okay, so we have hi-hats, claps, 808, we need percussions and snaps. All right. Okay, this one is good. All right, we're good to go. Next thing we're just gonna need to put a pattern. It has like eight bars. We have four bars. Eight bars, right? Let's go to the pattern. We're gonna start by laying a, uh, a cloud. Alright. Instead of selecting like this, you can just click Control K, they're gonna be selected, and then Control B to duplicate them in the next four bars and you can do this endlessly for now we have we only have eight bars to work with right okay next thing we're just gonna go to hi-hats i like to have a pattern of hi-hats ready to use and then play around with it because that's that ease up and speed up the workflow like you got hi-hats ready and then you just mess mess around okay click shift d to make all the notes even. For me, I'm just gonna play around with this. Like the red. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna show that. Three line, go by the lesson. That was on. All right, now just click duplicate to make a roll, choose one note, and then click Control U, and, and then mess around with the velocity. Okay, well, let's put this right here and then like that. Better. Next thing, we're just gonna drop a hard kick. Usually the kick is like an in C, but I like to play with the kick and put it on the nose B because it sounds different, it sounds heavier, look it's different right, so
Okay, that's good. Next thing, we're just gonna lay the snare and the percussion. Next thing we're gonna go for the snare. Your snare should be accurate and not too repetitive so the, the beat does not sound so boring. So control U and then it's gonna build up. The air away, I like to take it two scales up so I can hear the tonality better. What I'm gonna do to spice things up, I'm just gonna add another air away, like a second layer to fill it up. You know, it's gonna be like a long bass Take it up to scales. So what I did, it was like a break to break it up. It's basically another note, but it's mute. It breaks it, right? It's just like. And we're done. Right now we have our beat. Okay, now we've come to the end of the video. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to mix these sounds and how to make your beat glue up to the mix and it sounds all good together. Peace.